guys and welcome to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Chrissy B and if you're a um, returning subscriber hi and nice to see you again so today I'm gonna be actually doing my not I wouldn't say this is my daily routine I would say this is my either once or twice a week um, skincare routine so I'm gonna be showing you what I do and everything step by step what products I use and everything like that give you any tips that could be helpful for you and everything so we'll just do that and we'll just get started but before before we move on to the video you know what you gotta do you just have to hit the subscribe button the button's just there just hit the subscribe button you know you'll enjoy this video you know the video will be helpful for you so you might as well just hit the subscribe button and then we can move on see it's that simple once you've hit the subscribe button make sure you hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every single time i post and we'll just get into the video okay before i start i'm just going to quickly take my head wear off um take my earrings off my jewelry off and take my eyelashes off and we'll just get started quick straight away so i'm just going to be using this headband that i got from south korea yeah from south korea and this is just to keep anything off my face whilst i'm doing this facial so I'm just going to quickly just unwrap this. Okay, so the first thing is first is take my eyelashes off, which are like they're already falling off anyways. And then what I tend to normally use, um, I would tend to use, uh, the first thing I would is to remove my eye makeup. And I would normally use the Marcella, Marcella Water by Garnier with cotton pad and just put it on my eyes and rub it off. But I don't have them right now, so what I'm actually going to use is a um, by Garnier again, and this is the Cleansing Wipes, uh, remove, remove it removes even waterproof makeup and i've got a normal to dry skin my skin is actually a combination but um this is what i'm gonna use if you do use wipes make sure when you use wipes you always cleanse afterwards because using wipes the only the only thing is you're doing is you're breaking down the dirt but you're only wiping it all over your face so you're just moving the bacteria around you're not actually removing anything so you always have to make sure when you what use wipes you always cleanse afterwards which i'll also be doing and i'll show you what i'll use so if you do this because some people don't realize that and they just think oh let me just use the wipes remove my makeup and i'm sorted and it's like yes it removes makeup but you still got back to like most of the bacteria you've got on your skin you're just removing it round and it doesn't actually remove it so what I tend to do is I do one eye first and then I move on to the other eyes and then I do the rest of the face and I just find it easy it's like a step by step situation I tend to do And the thing is, you're not really supposed to rub as well, just because it prevent like it um, it speeds up the sign of wrinkles. But you know, sometimes I just can't be asked to do the the right way, so I tend to just do this. And the thing is, I like this wipe because it does remove all the makeup. Like, I don't need to use another one. Like, this is the front of the one. And then I'm just using the back now. Uh, yeah, it does, like, a pretty good job removing makeup. And I feel like one wipe is enough. Like, you really, like... Some people are just wasting product when you're using multiple pads, multiple wipes and everything. Sometimes one is just enough. You don't need to use all of it. I tend to have a few cleansers, so I depending on how my skin is and um, if I've like broken out or anything like that, I'd either go for like a this glow mud um, glow mud cleanser from Pixie, or I tend to go for like a foamy cleanser. It just depends what mood I'm in and how my skin is feeling at that time. The thing is, when it comes to skincare, you you can't just ha like. You can't just stick to a certain product. You always have to change it up 
every few months or weeks depending on your skin and everything like that you always have to change it up because what happens is your skin actually gets used to that product and then the effects just stop working on your skin and it kind of it gets it's kind of like when you get a medic when you have a medication your body gets used to it so you have to have a stronger dosage for you to still get the effect from it it's kind of like that with skincare you don't want to stick to one because it will your skin will get used to it and then you won't you won't be seeing the results so you were seeing before so you always have to make sure you always change it up so what I tend to use I tend to have different cleansers and every single time I do this type of routine when you're a therapist like me you call this full facial or you can have a mini facial which what I call a just an, a daily facial that's a mini facial to me so I'll be doing a full like full long facial kind of a thing where I'll be doing from all the way from cleanse like removing the makeup, cleansing, toning uh, all the way to moisturizing, exfoliating, mask and everything like that. And then I'll if you guys want me to do I can do a video about the different type of facials you can do at home and everything like that. More in detail what products you should do for certain skin tones and everything like that. Let me know down below. I can do those videos for you. But for now I'm just gonna get into my cleansing quickly and I just like to Put it on my finger and I just wet it a bit and then just rub it on my face pretty much. Cleansing, you are actually removing the bacteria and the dirt now so you can see like if I just finish on the wipes, you can see it still see like even though it looks like my it removed all my makeup, you can still see like the cream is actually still brown. So I still got a bit of foundation in my on my face. So that's why you also remove it. You always have to cleanse afterwards. And if I'm feeling extra bougie, I will cleanse twice. But today, for today, I'm only cleansing once. And then I just like to get flannel, wet it, and then wipe it off. So the next step is toning. Now, toning. If you're doing this full length facial, you will tone about three times, two to three times, depending on your preference. I like to, I think, yeah, I tone. Uh, I turn two times, that's how many times I tend to turn. I turn like after the cleanser and then I turn before the moisturizer. So the, um, I tend to use different toners as well. So for this one, I'll be using two different toners. So right now I'm gonna be using the Glow Tonic for Glow, the Skin Treat Glow Tonic Exfoliating um, Toner by Pixie. And this is what I'm gonna use first. And um, so this has got um, glycolic gly um, acid formula so by 25%. So I'm just gonna put it, and this will just help me, like, it helps remove dead skin and everything, like especially the first layer of the skin. It really helps with that. So I'm just gonna. You're probably wondering why am I using a tissue? Because I've run out of cotton pads, and a tissue still works the same. So. Toners are really good for areas that you tend to have problem like problems with, so like your T T zone if you break up there. So any area that you tend to break up quite a lot, that's where you want to put your toner. So I'll say about here. Thank you. And then the next step is exfoliating. Now, exfoli you can ha you can have different type of exfoliators. You can get one that's got micro microbeads, it's got yeah it's got some sort of microbeads but I think that's getting banned from the UK now or you can make your own exfoliator at home which if you guys want to see I can show you how to make that it's very simple or uh, you can like you can buy somewhere just cream based or you if you want more harsh one you go for like the ones that's got beads inside and stuff like that I like to go for ones that got beads inside just because I feel like it's actually doing something on my skin and yeah because my skin is not sensitive i need something a bit harsher 
to actually feel like it's doing any something. So I'm just gonna go with this in 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 is in is three in is three. I think that's how you say it. Um, volcanic pore uh, scrub foam. So this is what I'm gonna use. I got this from South Korea. Yep, yeah, I got it from South Korea. So I like this one. So I'm just going to put it in my hand just like that and then I just like to put a bit of water and just mix it and th this has got beads so I love this and it's like a foam one and then just put it on mm. it smells lovely to make sure I get all the dirt on the hair you just want to work it into your skin just massage it in scrub it any area don't you need to like move blackheads or dirt or anything like that I don't think if you I can like if I don't do this like once or twice a week I can tell when my skin needs, needs this because after a while it starts to break out and that's if I've been skipping Oh, I love doing the facial, it makes my skin feel so lovely. Whilst I'm actually scrubbing, what I tend to like to do also do is scrub my lips because you know, you need to scrub everything on your face. Your lips need also looking after. So what I like to use for my lips is the Jeffree Star, uh, the Jeffree Star Lip Scrub. Uh, I got it in the watermelon gum, so it smells lovely. Oh, like yes, I tend to just get a bit of water just because sometimes it tends to dry out a bit. There you go, and I just put it on my lips. Oh, and just work it in. Just wash it all off. So you can wash it, you can wipe it off. It's your choice. you've removed everything because always after the scrub I always feel like my skin feels so smooth like it's just oh that new layer of skin get it up in your nose make sure you remove it yeah okay and then I'm gonna go in for the mask so when it comes to the mask I actually like to use two masks I tend to use a kind of kind of oh, I say the first mask I tend to either use a clay or peeling mask and then the second mask I tend to use a sheet mask just because I feel like because with the clay and peeling mask is to remove all the dirt and like to go into my pores remove all that dirt out and everything and then dehydrating mask is to add moisture back into my skin so that is not dehydrated and just uh, yeah just makes it more sluffable so the first thing I'm gonna do is the peeling mask so what I'm actually going to use today, I'm going to be using, let's see, what should I use, what should I use, what should I use, what should I use. So today I'm going to be using the Glam Glow Firming Treatment, which uh, they did a, um, my pony, my little pony collaboration with them. So I'm just going to be using this and this one's the colour, go to pink. So I did get all three of them. I've tried the black one, but I haven't tried the pink one yet, so I'm going to do the pink one and then actually might do it later on, I might do a video on the purple one I think, yeah the other one is the purple one that I haven't tried, so you get stickers as well, end up, so that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. okay. Oh, I love the smell. Oh, look at look at look how pretty that is. Look how pretty that is. Yes. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. So, don't want to waste anything. So this is going on my face as well. Just gonna push it on.
okay so that's the mask on do i look pretty in pink i love the glitter just love the glitter yes so i'm gonna leave this on it says to leave it on for 15 minutes or until it completely dries and then i'll come back and we'll carry on with the video a few moments later the, the mask is finally dry now i'm just gonna peel it off well i'm gonna try and peel it off oh, i love peeling masks i find it so satisfying I always feel like with peeling a mask, my, my skin feels really cold afterwards. But I'm just going to go in with a cloth again and just wipe off the excess. Now I'm going to be going in with a sheet mask. I'll be using the same brand that I use of the scrub. The in, I think it's in C or in is free i think that's i don't know how you pronounce it, um the brand but it's a skin clinic for mass collagen sheet mask so i'm just gonna put this on and i'll leave this this is gonna stay on for 10 to 20 minutes so yeah i, just, I love sheet masks i just love them so. oh it smells really nice What I tend to do is always break it at the corners. Oh, you can't with these ones. I tend to break it at the corners so I don't. Oh, yeah. And just try and smooth it as much as you can. As much as you can. Just like that. And any excess oil or any oil like product, I tend to just squeeze it and I just make sure it goes onto, onto the, my face, you don't want to waste any product, so you know, it's just squeeze any excess product, I to make sure I work it in, and the reload on in the actual packet, so that's what I always tend to do. Okay. And I like to also put the product on my lips to be moisturized up. Okay. There you go, and I'm gonna leave that for another 10 to 20 minutes, and then we'll be right back to finish it off. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, so I've had this on for about 15 minutes. Time to take it off now. And what I tend to do, I just rub in the excess. And then just bring it down to my neck. My shoulder, you know, shoulder in, and then what I'll do, I um, the next step is tone again, but I use a different toner. So now I'm gonna use a toner that actually closes up my pores so that um, bacteria and dirt doesn't get chucked into it. So, what I like to use is the Body Shop Tea Tree. Um, skin clearing mattifying toner I love using tea tree toner just because I feel like if I've got any spots or any breakout it helps calm those down and get rid of them and everything like that and helps it dry it all out but also closing my pores and everything so I'm just gonna go in with that and then I'm just gonna I tend to go on my nose area first because that's where I tend to have break up break out first and then my forehead no, my chin and then I just go everywhere else. And what I like to do is I like to use a serum first. So I tend to use any type of serum depending on what I've got in 
in my beauty cupboard and drawers and stuff like that. But I've got this sample for which is green green tea seed serum from um NC3. So I'm just gonna use this and just put this on my face. Put it on my hand, rub it in, and then I'm just gonna pat it in. Bring it down to my neck again. And I only do this type of routine once or twice a week depending if my skin is breaking out or anything like that. And then I like to go in with this tool which is like a massage tool from Cordelay. And I just like to massage my face whilst the serum is sinking in. Just to help the skin stay tight, you know. And you always want to push your skin upwards, never downwards, because that's how you get droopy skin and that's how you try to prevent wrinkles. And then before I put a moisturizer or anything, I do like to go with tea tree oil, like the essential tea tree oil that I get there from Superdrug. I like to just dab it all over my skin, like I said, just to prevent any breakouts. If I do have any breakouts, like just to stop them happening, you know, this is what I like to do. And then I just tap it in. And also, I love the smell of tea tree oil. Like, am I the only person? Like, if comment down below if you like the smell of tea tree oil because I love it. And then I'm gonna go with this fast. I think it's fast Sally. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. Um, it's a rose gold infused beauty oil, and this is what I tend to finish off my skin routine with. So I just go in with this. Just put it in a bit. And then I just also put it on my lips to moisturise it. And then just rub it in. Okay, so that's the end of the video. My skin is feeling so smooth, so supple and everything. My lips is moisturised from the um, body oil from Farley. So yeah, so that's the end. But if you guys like this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And hit that notification bell so that you are notified every single time I post my videos. If you guys want to see more videos like this, comment down below. If there's anything else you want to see, make sure you also comment down below. And I shall see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you.